Hello YouTube and thanks for tuning in to Vision. and I'm back again with another episode of Minecraft tutorials and today we're going to be doing an awesome new military plane that I was promising you guys is just the first of uh, several to come and this is the F-117 Nighthawk and it is an American actually recently retired uh, stealth fighter so this thing is to pretty much totally undetectable to radar and it actually was capable of carrying a strategic nuke as part of the payload if it needed to be but luckily they never had to use that so but this is a really awesome plane and yeah it's really easy to build too so we'll, we'll just get right into that so you're gonna need black wool and I'm just that's all I'm gonna use for now just because we're gonna be using it for quite some time so I'm gonna show you how to make it in the sky if you wanted to put it on the ground you could just put some landing gear on it I'm sure it wouldn't be too hard uh, I've got so a couple other planes that have landing gear. You can check that out. Um, but the first step is you're going to want to lay a black line. This is going to be the middle line of the plane, and it needs to be 41 blocks long. So just go ahead and lay that down. All right, and that is once you get your 41 lined up, you're going to go up and figure out where you want the front of the plane to be. And we are going to bring from one just leave one little stub here and then you're gonna put a two and then a third and then bring the third one out one and you're gonna continue that pattern all the way down basically it's just a two step just like that and you're gonna go all the way down until you get one past the end of that 41 line you just made there so we'll bring the wing back just like that you're doing three one out and then two more one out two more all the way down and all right as you get down to the end you'll see you're gonna go one pass like I said just like that and oh excuse me yeah one you're gonna go even with it excuse me go even with the the back oh go even with them we're gonna go one pass with the wing so here's what you do at the end you go just like that and then you've you're gonna bring in three more three over the edge just like that and then you're going to it's gonna go up you're gonna count eight of these so that's two three four five six seven eight <clears throat> and then you'll stop there yep so you do eight there and then you're gonna come right back to the end of this one you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna bring it up eight three four five six seven eight and then you'll have the middle of this side this is your back wing okay so that's the outline of half of the plane so far so we're gonna duplicate it on the other side and to just to recap just so you know where you're at in case you didn't catch it you're gonna go one from the back and you lay three and then one out and then two more one out two more one out so you have the three 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 with one touching all the way down to where it's even with the the end of the 41 line that you've already laid so we'll get there it's actually really easy once you get the start getting the pattern down you'll see you'll be following this pattern throughout a couple times slightly different as we go up a couple levels because there's some really weird lines on this plane to prevent it from being caught on radar which is really cool I tried to capture it as close as I could um, you really you can't really do it in Minecraft but it got pretty close so hope you guys enjoy this once it's done I think it'll be worth it you'll like it in your um, sky of your modern city for sure and when you get down to the end just like before just fill it in and you come over three that way you can get a look at a finished one there and then you're going to start your angle up and you're going to go eight so one two three four five six seven eight and we will come right back here to this one and do the same thing you're going to go one two three four five six seven eight and then we'll just cap that and then you should be right there that's the base outline of the bottom of your plane and you're going to want to fill in the, um, just fill in the gaps here 
you know, just start filling in all the lines on this first level. I'm gonna drink a potion to speed it up. All right, and once you get your bottom layer, you should be looking just like that. So it's pretty good base, to, and then you can, it's easy to build off once we get to this point too. So, and then we'll go back to the front, and you're gonna take a two, two blocks in the middle, and you're gonna place one, and then you're gonna go two, two, two. And you're gonna do that. You're gonna go back eight with the two. So you got one, two, three, four. You go five, six, seven, eight. On the eighth one, you're gonna stretch it all the way back to one before the end of the wing. And then you can come back and do it on this side. Here, I'll show you again. Right from the front, take a two space, place one block. You're gonna go back two, back two, back two. And you're gonna do that eight times, just like that. And on the eighth one, Instead of just placing two, just bring it all the way back, basically to, to the this middle point of the, the wing. That's another, you know, instead of counting, if you didn't want, you could just just know to take them back to that middle point. And there you go, one away from the end. And that's the beginning of our second level. We'll come back to the back in a minute. We're going to finish up the front before we move to the rear. It's just a lot easier to, to build up that way. So now we're going to get back to the front of the plane, and I'm going to place this beacon up front here. It's kind of like the radar system. It's like a sophisticated radar system stuck in the front. So you'll go back to the front, and you're gonna, you're gonna scoot up two, and you're gonna place a beacon. And then you're going to, we're gonna be building up on the sides. So you're gonna go back just like you were with the two, and then you're gonna go back two, but you're only gonna go back two four times. So this would be three. And on the fourth time, you take it back four, okay? And you're gonna do that on both sides. So it'd be one, two, that's one, and then two, three, and four. On the fourth one, you take it back four, and then you're gonna fill in right there and there, and go ahead and place uh, one more right there, or two more right there on each side. So to recap, place the beacon, and it's two, 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 and then one, two, three, four on both sides. And that should be looking just like that at this point. And then we place right here. This is where like the intake is that has like a, actually you can build this wall right here too to build off of it. So stack up two right there. And then I'm using the crafting table because I'm on plastic pack. Um, you could substitute another block, something with a intake looking thing. I just think it looks cool. It looks more like the real picture. It just happens to look like that. It's like these two big black intakes on each side. And then you'll have to go into crouch mode and place a block on top of each of those. So we're gonna come back over here and do the same thing. So you'll lay your crafting tables there, two blocks there, crouch again and put two on top and that will lead that, that's that's where we should be at right here all right and we'll go back to the front now and you're gonna place a black block behind the beacon and we'll put some carpet down here on top of it to blend that in should need to do that and get a crouch get some carpet put one behind it too just to kind of tie into that and then um, being as you skip back two right there then you're gonna place one and then another and then we're gonna be doing the step back thing too but instead of it just being two like that you'll see you're gonna need to do three it'll be three back so it's just gonna be two one two and then three this is that one and then the fourth one should tie you right into where the intake is so we're just kind of building up the front. Like I said, we'll get this knocked out and the rear becomes a little bit easier. So we'll do it again over here just so you can get another, another look at it. Above the beacon, put two carpets back and then start your nose. And you go one, two, and then it's three of these. So one, two, three, and then the fourth one ties you into your pre-existing block. So that's exactly where we should be now as you're building up. 
And okay, now we'll go back to where the in, the intakes are. And these two here, um, just think of this as a first step. And then you're gonna do four more. So one, two, and you just double step this. Three, four. And then you're gonna come back down the other side, just like you did that. And it should match up with just putting the three. It's basically three high, the four will be the middle, and there you go. So now you've got the, the peak of the middle, we'll just finish in the cockpit and pull it back. So right in the middle here, we'll just drop down two. You're gonna go back two, just like you keep the step going. And it's two, and then two, and it should just meld right into that, just like that, you see it? It should be, It's like I said, it's easier to build it up from the back, that way we're set up already. So now we just put the glass in, grab some glass blocks, and you're gonna go oh, back to just like before. So it's, I think I did two. Let me go over here and make sure. Yep, two, and then two. Yep, so it's back to, then these two here. And then you've got the base of your cockpit, and then we'll put some carpet on top of these two. And then you will place two there, place some more carpet on top of these. <clears throat> and you've got the base design of your the front of the spy plane. What we can do here while we're here right now, just to get these little details out of the way. Grab a cobblestone wall, place it right in the front block here, and then Put a lever right here and right here, just the next two back. Those are kind of like the 50 cal guns because it does have that and this is part of the radar system. I actually looked up all the details on it. Um, it kind of looks like it, about as close as you can get. Just thought I'd add a little bit more detail to the actual front of the of the uh, F-117 Nighthawk. I love this thing, it's really awesome. I love the way it turned out. Hopefully you guys enjoy this when it's done. Okay, so let's keep going. So I'll, I'll make the cockpit next, and what I did, we're just going to clear this out of the way for now. We'll, we'll fill that back in, just so you can see what I do. I'll just kind of build up the floor here. And it doesn't matter if you're using black or whatever. Um, it's only going to go, you fill in that one. So just these two glass blocks here. And one more is what I had as the cockpit, so it's just three. I'm filling these walls, and I think I just took. I put just a chair there, and I think I try to put like the um, on plastic pack. The jukebox looks really like electronical stuff, so I think I put that there. Maybe you could think of some other block to put there just to look like buttons or something, you know? And, and I think I just put another box here. Where's the uh, note box? There we go. I put a note block as like the controls and a little joystick down there. And for the final touch, I put a little Steve head. Just so if like you're looking in the window, you'd see a, you'd see a pilot. And that, that's how I would do the cockpit right there. Just so like, you know, if you, at least you can look in there, it looks electronic-y kinda, and a little guy. There's a handle at least, so. That's the cockpit details. Now let's get the rest of this finished here. All right, and what we'll do, you go to the sides here, and where you've, you've got this double wall here, you're gonna pull that back to one before the, where this one is, and then go up one more level and do the same thing. Pull it back, one before the end of this one. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So pull it back, just like this, to one before the end of that one. And then we'll do the same thing here. So it should be looking just like that, kind of straddled in the back there. 
Okay, on the top one, what we'll do is you fill it in. One, two, three, four, five, sixth one, and then it should be you know, tied right back in there. So you can fill that in just like that. And then we're gonna go down and do the same thing on the bottom. You're gonna go just like that. You make sure you get your that doubled space there. Got to get the extra space, just because it's like really weird and angled in the back. It doesn't look right if you just step it down one. And for the bottom row, same thing. Um, we'll just fill in. As we go, you're going to fill in both. And the last row will be single. That's kind of like the exhaust um, outtake. And then we'll go ahead and put that in. Grab some slabs here, some stone slabs. And I believe it runs all the way. Oh, wait, that's right. This last one, double high it. Make it double high because we got to build the wing off of that. So when you get to the, to the back here, it should be looking just like this so far. And we'll come to that, we'll do the wing last. We're gonna fin we'll finish up the top body part there, but we'll go ahead and put the intakes in. So from right there, just put half slabs all the way up to one before the halfway point of the wing. And do the same over here. You should be looking just like that so far. Yeah, it's really coming together, we're almost there. Cool. All right, this top, um, block we'll just go ahead and bring it out to seven so that's two let's just add five more one two three four five and that'll be the height of your the top there you don't want to go any further with that and this will help this tie us in what we can do is just go ahead and fill in this whole level here and it'll just be easier to build off of so just come back and just fill in this whole level Okay, on the side here where you've got the two down at the bottom, just add eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then that will be the base back here. We're gonna go same thing. Oops, not that far. Take that up eight, there we go. And then you're gonna bring this back just the same and just follow with the, the same three pattern. I'm gonna bring it back and we'll add a little bit of uh, widening up here in the front, but we'll get to that. So you just fill in that. All right, same thing back here. Bring it back to where it's going three back. Like that. One, two, three. I believe. Oh wait, we stepped this up, that's right. So instead of it looking just like that right here, you're gonna step it back one, just like that. Do the same over here. So knock off two on that one, and then one there. There you go. Now we're getting the the angle of it, and I believe so. It was four, three, or five, three, four. So stepping two back. So yeah. So one, two. Then you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then go up one more, four, and then three, and then that that's it. And then duplicate that on the other side. So you'll just one, two, same one level below the cockpit. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, and that will be, it's just like a little, I don't know, it's just planes, it's weird. It's just all part of the um, like radar anti-detection systems that it's got. It's just a really weird shaped plane. And that's as close as I could get it. Um, 
I'm gonna pull up, grab an oven or something, or something that looks like metal. That's what I did, I just made like a little metal plate. And once again, on plastic, they look like, I don't know, it just looks different than it regularly does. And then, so it's, what is that? The middle of the last one, over three. Okay, so not this last row, but this row in the middle here, you go one, two, three knock it out and place that. It's just kind of like a little access plate or something. Do the same on the other side. Just add some, I was trying to find some just ways to break it up a bit, but there's really not much on this plane. It is literally like just a black blob. You know, there's there's this little decal of like, it's like the American, um, I don't know, stars and it's like a little emblem. It's not the full flag and that's basically it. A couple of them had letters on the back wings, but not a lot of them, at least the pictures that I looked at. I mean, these things are like dead up stealth, so really hard to see. And we can go ahead and put that little placard on here. It was real simple. I just took red, blue, and white carpet and on the wing here, just anywhere. You can put it anywhere you want, really. Um, just drop the white in the middle and then I believe that I do yep I did the blue for like the cross around it and then I did red and then red like that it just kind of looks like that little I'm sure you've seen it the little Air Force like decal it's about as close as you can get all right and we're almost done we'll get this uh, back wing finished all right this is real easy just over this um, what we'll do is we'll pop that out too right here and over this very last half slab you're gonna go one level above and you're gonna go out to and then it should go into and then you should be connected and you're gonna duplicate the same thing over here And then we're gonna go up. I believe it doesn't split until all the way at the edge. Yeah, there's one gap. So you start right here, but you get rid of that one, and then you take it out, and you're gonna go one beyond every time. So <clears throat> just like that. So we're gonna go boom, and take it out one. All right, and you're gonna go up from here a total of these back wing pieces let's look at it should be one two three four five six okay so we've already got two on each side and you you go forward oh wait no never mind wait leave that one there the next one goes forward one so we're gonna raise it up and you go back one and take it one more so you see how i did that so I'll show you again. You go one back each time, so you get rid of that one. And you're gonna bring it back and go one beyond. And it's just gonna be a total of six, so we gotta go three more. We'll do that real quick. We'll go one, a quick way to do it is one, two, three. And we'll just knock these out. And you bring it back one each time. One each time. And don't forget, if you do it like that, though, then you got to come back <clears throat> and you have to break these because you're going back each time. So that one is gone, those two are gone, and that one. So you got that that angle, you know. So what do I got to do? One, two, three. We'll bring them back. Oops! Don't do that. Get rid of those. Take it out one more. And going one more. So each time going one more. And then we'll get rid of these. Two, three, one, two, and one. So now you got the, the slope on both sides. You got the back wing connected. You can see it's matching over there identically as the other um, F-117 Nighthawk that I created. And there you go. Six high on the back. And really, the, the it, it like I said, it really is, there's nothing on the bottom. This thing is super stealth. The only thing that I wish I had was a half black slab because there is a very slight bump like in the middle. But if you put a full black slab, it doesn't look right. 
Like, it's not that big of a notice. But other than that, that's, a, that's what you're getting with the F117 Nighthawk. I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you got an idea for another tutorial that you'd like to see, drop a comment in the comment section and stay tuned for many more. I've got some more military plane tutorials coming and some cool just overall vehicles and further tutorials. So stay tuned you guys. Appreciate you watching, like I said as always. And I think this is a great build. Let me know what you think, like I said. And as always, we will see you next time. Thanks a lot.